Then there's another facet. This is a facet that's not often considered, particularly on Earth. In the spirit world, it's something that's known very, very well. But here on Earth, we have a tendency to skip over. Although, if you look in every single spiritual path on Earth that talks about God, generally there's a whole lot of you must, you must not list of things you t to do. Does that make sense? So you must not murder, you must not commit adultery, you must not steal, you know, and so on forth. And, you know, we often refer to them, if we come from a Christian background, as the Ten Commandments, you know. I practice the, you know, I've quite often heard from people, I practice the Ten Commandments. That's all I need to do in my interactions with others. And that is a part of coming to God, to be frank. Practicing morals. But God's perspective on morals and our perspective on morals are very, very different. Our perspective on morals is as long as we act moral, then it means we are moral. Most of the time that's what we believe. Right? So as long as I don't murder, I'm fine. That means that I'm free of that murderous emotion, if you like. No, it doesn't, actually. How many times do you think once you get into a rage, you feel like throttling someone, and how many times do you feel like actually murdering them even? Like, and the only reason why you don't is they're not there in front of you, number one. Number two, that there's no weapon to do it with. Or, or number three, that you just know that if you do that, you'll get put in jail yourself or you'll get condemned yourself, number four. So, you know, as we go through the different reasons why, we start seeing actually that we do have murderous emotions inside of ourselves that we just don't act upon. Right? With God's view of morals, the murderous emotion is what needs to be released. So instead of having a list of you must nots that I actually do, there is actually, from God's perspective, you could say some you must nots that you have to actually feel, not just not do. You have to actually feel them. So in other words, when I notice inside of myself that I have a murderous emotion towards somebody, on God's path, I need to look at the underlying emotional reason why I have this emotion and I need to get to that emotion and release it before I can progress. Now you think about it. If I have had somebody hurt me and hurt me a lot in my past, getting to those kind of emotions is a pretty like difficult process, but it is something that is essential on the divine love path. Right? So there's this morals effort. We remember yesterday in our discussion, uh, we were raised about the morals of a lot of spiritual paths being very like focused on free sexuality, and that's one area that that on God's path you won't you will have to deal with those emotions, whatever is going on there. Right. God designed you to be completely sexual, but within a framework of love inside of yourself. 